So, Jason, I want to talk about the movement of data okay. today because this, this is something that's important because for um, quite some time since we started data aggregation, not us ourselves, but a lot of the larger tech companies, it's all about how much data could we grab, right. hold on to, and store. Right. That was a general idea, right? And as we know, you know, humans can't evolve in anything they're doing unless there's movement, Right. You have to have movement. And without that, you know, you have static nature, you know, things start to die, they erode, you know, nothing good can come from it. You need that constant change. And so from a philosophical point when, you know, I have looked at this in terms of the movement of data is that data needs some sort of catalyst, some sort of incentive to get it to push, to move it out of those silos, data lakes, data warehouses, you know, deep cold storage, whatever those things might be for holding that information. 